John, I've, I've been thinking about the, the, the summit in Helsinki, the, the Putin-Trump yeah, summit in yeah, Helsinki. Yeah. And, wow. you know, you know, some people, like Chuck Schumer said, mm -hmm. uh, uh, he said, like, look, I don't know why he would uh, throw America under the bus here, mm -hmm. why he would side with Putin and Russia over the United right. States in, in this meddling thing. Why would he do it? What, what is the possible explanation? You know, could he be, like, an agent of the Russian government? And other people go, no, 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 he's just, he was just stupid. It was just a stupid thing for him to do. I'm not sure if that's better. No, no, each, each side is no, terrible. No, it would be Disaster. like the school saying to the parents, like, Joe, just calm right. down. We saw the bus going all over the road. Right. Okay, right. I want to assure you, the bus driver was not drunk. Uh -huh. He is merely a maniac. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's who a we maniac. have no control over. Right. We don't even so have control over. So it's going to be fine. Right. And we've been so focused on the fallout from Trump's honeymoon in Helsinki. But back home, we've got a different Russian asset to deal with. We all remember the Kremlin-connected lawyer who met with Don Jr., Natalia Veselnitskaya. <laughs> but we just learned about a new Trump campaign-linked Russian spy, Maria Butina. That's right. Butina is a Russian national who was arrested Sunday and yesterday was charged with conspiracy to act as an agent of the Russian Federation. Well, as long as we're charging people with that now, I heard about this one guy just got back from Helsinki. I can give you his address if you need it. <laughs> so who is this Russian spy? Apparently, Butina is a 29-year-old gun rights activist and former furniture store owner from Siberia. Now... 29 is young to be involved in espionage and really young to own a furniture store. <laughs> According to the affidavit, Butina worked to set up back channel communications between Americans and the Kremlin and moved to infiltrate an American gun rights organization as part of her pro Kremlin operations. Now, the affidavit does not specify which American gun rights organization, <laughs> it's the NRA. Here, because here she is canoodling and colluding with NRA executive Wayne LaPierre, Wisconsin governor and NRA supporter Scott Walker, and former NRA president David Keene. So either she's just really tight with the NRA, or these are photos from the worst Disney World trip ever. <laughs> Honey, it's a 40-minute wait to visit Buzz Lightyear, but there's no line for Wayne LaPierre down there. <laughs> and back in 2015, at a town hall, Butina was actually the first person to ask Trump about Russia. My question will be about foreign politics. Okay. If you would be elected as a president, what will be your foreign poli politics, especially in the relationships with my country? I know Putin, and I'll tell you what, we'd get along with Putin. I believe I would get along very nicely with Putin. Okay? You got to admit, he kept that campaign promise. <laughs> Now, Butina really wasn't great at keeping her secret identity under wraps. As a student at American University, she claimed multiple times to have been a conduit between the Trump campaign and Russia, with one professor telling the Daily Beast, she said so in my class. And she said so several times in the last semester. <laughs> Wait, let me get this straight. She's a Russian operative trying to influence Trump, and her secret identity is a Russian operative trying to influence <laughs> Trump. That would be like if Bruce Wayne said, Hi, I'm Batman Wayne. I mean Bruce Batman. I mean Batman Batman. Damn it! <laughs> she seems nice. Oh, no. She seems nice. Did she work? And she was even less subtle with the Trump campaign itself. In May of 2016, Butina attempted to arrange a meeting between Putin and Trump. The subject line of one email she sent was, Russian backdoor overture and dinner invites. <laughs> That's surprising. Most people do the dinner and drinks before the backdoor <laughs> overture. But, but... <laughs> but... Trump didn't end up meeting Putin for dinner, but she did have an intimate relationship with a member of his transition team, and during the time that Butina was deep inside the NRA, they spent over $30 million to support Trump's campaign, and now the FBI is investigating whether Russian money was illegally funneled to the NRA to help Donald Trump win. Now, now there isn't any definitive proof yet 
that links this all the way to Donald Trump. But if it looks like a duck and walks like a duck and illegally uses Russian money to elect a Kremlin-approved candidate like a duck, <laughs> then in 2016, American voters got ducked. <laughs> we'll be right back.